Howdy, and welcome to the Flight Simulation Lab. Operated by Dr. John Velasic of the Aerospace Engineering Department at Texas A&M University, this lab features three pilot stations and a main cockpit simulator, which allows four aircraft to fly simultaneously in the same airspace. The main simulator is a T-37 cockpit with two touchscreen multifunctional flight displays and three external views, allowing a field of view of 155 degrees. Each pilot station features a high-performance Windows PC equipped with a control yoke and rudder pedals. Graphics are displayed on a 30-inch widescreen LCD primary display and a 15-inch touchscreen LCD head-down display. The Flight Simulation Lab features many cutting-edge research projects, a few of which are highlighted in this video. By utilizing the pilot stations and main simulator, human factors testing is possible by allowing multiple pilots to fly various flight tests and give their opinions on new hardware and software tools. Through these tests, pilot workload and situational awareness can be evaluated and used to improve these tools throughout the design process. Boeing has developed the Area Dominator, which is a munition launched from an unmanned aerial vehicle that loiters until finding a target. If the vehicle could be refueled in flight, its endurance over the battle area could be greatly increased. But how do two unmanned vehicles dock in flight without a human controlling the vehicles? A vision-based navigation system developed at Texas A&M, known as VizNav, has proven to provide a means by which two unmanned vehicles can successfully dock while in flight. Automatic landing of aircraft is an autopilot mode that increases the safety of flight. Control laws for automatic landing were designed to be robust to model uncertainties, turbulence, and ground effect, and provide a smooth, safe touchdown. As seen in the video, the aircraft touches down smoothly, providing a safe landing. Man has longed to mimic the flight of birds. By changing the shape of its wings, birds are able to adapt to a variety of flight conditions with amazing efficiency. The Morphing Aircraft Research Goal is to develop the materials and controls to morph an aircraft wing. Changing the wing shape in flight to a desired configuration would increase the efficiency of the aircraft and provide better performance in all phases of flight. Undergraduate students have the opportunity to utilize the lab for some junior and senior level courses. In an aircraft dynamics and control course, students are introduced to how an airplane flies and the effect of flight controls by directly viewing the response of the aircraft. Although each student will not be a licensed pilot, they will know how an airplane flies. The Senior Aircraft Design course allows students to import the mathematical models of their designed aircraft to test how the actual vehicle will fly. A technical elective course, Cockpit Systems and Display, teaches the design of cockpit displays and allows students the opportunity to design a realistic flight display. The same software used by Rockwell Collins to design cockpit displays for various aircraft is utilized in this course. Students define requirements, design the layout, and implement the design and software. The latest version features a moving map display with traffic, terrain, and weather, as well as a primary flight display complete with navigation and engine instruments. In an effort to inspire the youth of the community, students ranging from elementary school to high school visit the Flight Simulation Lab and have a chance to fly the simulator. 